three principles to rapidly change your focus, workflow, and efficiency. They are number one, the Pareto principle, number two, the Pomodoro technique, and number three, Parkinson's law. So I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna go straight into what those principles are, why you're gonna benefit from them, and how you can implement them into your life with relative ease. So the first one, the Pareto principle, is actually the thing that I'm most like focused on, and it's the thing that I implement in my personal life the most. It's also known as the 80-20 rule. So the 80-20 rule is actually a book by, I think it's called like Richard Koch or something. Um, he wrote this book, basically the concept of the Pareto principle is that 80% of progress, sorry, I don't know why I did this, 80% of the progress is done in 20% of the work. So what that essentially means is that, let's say in a test environment, you go into the exam, 80% of the marks can be achieved through only 20% of the knowledge. So the next one is the Pomodoro technique, and this is actually often applied uh, to studying, but I see a lot of like kind of business implementations and use cases as well. So for example, if you were to start your own business, um, how you need to implement the Pomodoro technique is that, so it's rather than thinking about it as working in 25 minute chunks and then resting for five minutes, it's more generally of a concept of kind of like working and then giving yourself a reward. So the 25 minutes is meant to be the work and the five minute relaxation time is gonna be the reward. So how do I do that personally? I literally, so for example, if I'm studying, um, I find it really, really hard to work for more than 30 minutes. But if I'm working on my business, I can go on for literally hours. So how do I actually implement it? I give myself kind of rewards, but not in the form of like just five minutes break, but maybe like I actually buy myself something or enjoy a nice cup of coffee in like my favorite coffee shop or something like along those lines where the reward is something that kind of matches the effort that you put in. And lastly, Parkinson's law. So Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time that it's been allocated. What that essentially means is like, for example, you know those times when you have like a looming deadline that you had essentially had a month to do, um, but then it's <laughs> you've left it till that it's due the next day. And during that 24 hour window, you actually bang out a piece of work that's actually somewhat up to par. Essentially what that is, is the task that you were given either at work or at university or at school, you had a month to do that task, but you condensed it down to one day because why? There was a deadline and the work has expanded to fill that time period that it was allocated. And this is also an example of um, Pareto principle because realistically, if you look at it, you've completed 80% of the work in less than 20% of the time. The The numbers 80-20 is just there to kind of be like a benchmark. So in nature, for example, and in finance as well, 95% of the wealth is owned by only 5% of the population. And this can be applied to literally any scenario. So now that you have familiarized yourself with what each principle essentially is, here's why they work. So for example, the 80-20 rule works because actually to be fair, scientifically, I have no idea why it works, but it just really does. And you can think back to many occasions in your life when it actually has worked. So for example, the deadline situation I gave when I was explaining the Parkinson's law, but also stuff like, have you ever noticed those times when when you're really in the zone and you manage to just like absolutely destroy it either in your workplace or in school? But actually when you look up at the time, it's like not actually that much time has gone by, but also sometimes when you wake up and you have that insane drive and you just work ridiculously that day and you actually make 80% of the progress in like 20% of the time, so you would make a week's worth of progress, but only in one day. I know that's happened to me before, and before I optimized my life in such a way where I was actually able to control that and actually kind of live at least 50% of my days like that, as opposed to like only 10%, I was really, really able to progress in not just my personal development, but also business, academia, and literally every aspect of my life. With the 80-20 rule, I actually don't have any like scientific backing to it, but like 
I can see so many examples in everyday life that I'm definitely a believer and I try to optimize my life so that I only ever have to do 20% of the work to get 80% of the results. So why does the Pomodoro technique work? So I think a lot of study tubers actually are kind of missing the point when they talk about the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique, if you actually um, conceptualize it in the most abstract abstract form it's literally you do X work and you get a small output at the end so that your brain gets like produces serotonin and gets like a small dopamine hit so that you're actually still excited and motivated to go back to the work once it's actually time after you receive the reward now where most people go wrong with the whole like work reward system is that they set their goals too high i definitely make that made that mistake up until realistically about summer this year but you set your goal so high that what's going to happen is you're not going to achieve that goal 80% of the time, 90% of the time, even 95% of the time. So what's going to happen is you're going to build this negative feedback loop in your brain where every time you think, oh, I flopped again, I don't deserve to reward myself. But realistically, that's because you failed in the macro sense where you're looking at the goal from like a macroscopic perspective when you should actually be looking and focusing more on the micro so you should be setting yourself micro goals to actually hit the macro goal and you should be rewarding at yourself in small increments at each stage so for example by the end of 2020 i want to build um, a six-figure business now to do that the goal isn't to build a six-figure business and then reward myself because that would be looking at it from like a macro perspective so how i do it is for example okay so today to reach this the goal up here sorry the camera is too zoomed in uh, but let me just zoom this out actually. okay so to reach the goal up here I actually need to like break it down into stages so every single day if I just make X amount of cold calls shoot uh, send off X amount of cold emails do X amount of follow-ups that means I secure X amount of meetings and that means I can actually get clients and that's how I grow my digital marketing agency. So you need to actually reward yourself at each level. So for example, today, um, if I shoot four videos, this is called like content batching, uh, but I'll get on to more of that. But basically I'm creating four YouTube videos today, segmenting them down into um, little segments so I can repost on different platforms. Uh, that's called batching and I'll talk about that. It hugely increases your content output efficiency. But anyways, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so today I'm gonna reward myself if I am able to shoot four videos, write two LinkedIn articles, and source 40 leads for my business. So the reward for me today is gonna to be probably just gonna to go to the sauna and the gym. Um, that would be like the reward for myself rather than like, oh, once I hit six figures, I'm gonna buy myself a Rolex and that would be the reward. Of course, I'm gonna do that once I hit that goal, but you see how like you need to still motivate yourself to actually want to work on that macro goal day by day by day by day. So. The Pomodoro technique, please do apply it to your life. Do not be afraid to reward yourself for like the little things because those little things will really, really build up. I promise you because you're trying to develop positive habits. So lastly, Parkinson's law. So Parkinson's law, how you would actually apply it to your life is, for example, um, to actually achieve the micro goals in my day, I set myself small deadlines. So from Monday to about Friday, Saturday, I kind of like let loose a little bit. I'm a bit more chilled at work and Sunday I just don't do any work at all. That's my day off. But basically Monday to Friday, I wake up at 5.30, I'd say about 80% of the days and I give myself either until seven o'clock in the morning to be in the gym because that's when it opens. And then by about nine o'clock, I'm in Starbucks ready to start work. Or if I choose not to go to the gym that day, the deadline would be to get my ass in Starbucks by nine o'clock and then start work. So for example, I work in um, diff like different work blocks. So I would allocate X amount of time to X amount of tasks. So between about nine to 12 o'clock, I'm handling the most important tasks I have for the day. What that means is you set yourself like a three hour time period for you to accomplish the most important tasks in a day. If you're a service providing business, 
that needs to be cold outreach. Simple, unless you already have loads of clients, in which case getting your clients results, that would be the number one priority. So make sure you get the important tasks in your day done first before then you move on to the more like admin stuff. Because I promise you, if you delay those admin stuff, you're not going to make any less money if you just kind of hold it off for two or three days. But if you don't make those phone calls and if you don't make those uh, cold emails and if you don't get your clients results, that's how you'll lose money. So remember 80-20, 80% of the money is made in 20% of your time, which is why I like to get those activities done first before I handle anything else. So about at lunchtime, I reward myself with, I don't know, like a banana or something. So something that I actually enjoy, where it's just like, okay, it's a nice little break to have. So for example, um, normally what I do at lunch times is I watch an episode of anime, um, any anime that I like really. And yeah, that's my reward for myself before I move on to the PM work of the day. So please do remember to set yourself micro deadlines for the day and then make it achievable as well. Like I used to be overly aspirational with the deadlines and that always screwed me up a lot. So yeah, I really do hope you have received a ton of value from that video and I really do hope that you go and implement those techniques and principles that I have mentioned and you know I know this video I've tried to bring business a bit more into it and most of you that are following me in fact probably a thousand subscribers only like a hundred max are not in school or university I really do hope that you guys follow me along for my business journey and find some kind of form of value and i really do hope that my videos have helped you either in the future or in the past so yeah if you want to subscribe please do there's a red button just click that and be updated on my weekly videos but other than that see you next week if you leave a comment just know i do read it and i will respond so please do feel free to interact with me i respond to every single dm i have had some phenomenal conversations with you guys over the past year or so and i have actually had the pleasure to meet you, some of you guys as well so really from the bottom of my heart i do thank you for a thousand subscribers and i'm sorry for like taking such a long break from youtube but just the fact that like so many of you have actually st stuck around it means the world to me i've started writing linkedin articles um the links for that is going to be down below they're actually quite interesting some are about self-development some about is about my business but um, I also started making TikTok videos as well. Uh, so yeah, the channel for that is going to be linked down below as well. So yeah, check me out on all platforms, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.